Number 27 x squared minus 34x plus c equals 0. In the given equation, c is a constant. The equation has no real solutions if c is greater than n. What is the least possible value of n? Okay, what they are looking for here is your knowledge of the quadratic formula. So, and specifically the specific part of the quadratic formula, the discriminant. Sometimes we see the discriminant like out by itself, but it is a part of the quadratic formula. It's the reason this works. So the quadratic formula says negative b, that if I have a quadratic, I can solve it by using negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. And then I can solve for x if I do that. Boom. So this part right here, under the square root is called the discriminant. If this number is negative, this quadratic has no solution because it would be the square root of a negative number, whatever that is. And that's imaginary. We can't have a real number that is a negative square root. Negative square roots are imaginary numbers. So if that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then the quadratic has no real solutions. If it is greater than zero, it has up to two real solutions, but we are not worried about that at this point. We're saying no real solution. So we are only worried about if it is um, less than zero, if that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So let's look at just that discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Now, here is our equation, x squared minus 34x plus c. Let's plug numbers into this discriminant and see you know, what would make it less than zero. So first, b squared, my b is negative 34 squared minus four times a, my a is one, that little imagine, not imaginary, invisible, how else say imaginary? Invisible one by the x squared times c, and we don't know what c is, it's just c. And we want to know when there's no real solutions, when this is less than zero. So negative 34 squared, that is, and I'll look at my little sheet where I wrote this down earlier because I like doing mental math, but I cannot multiply 34 by itself quickly in my head. So that is 1,156. And then minus four times one times C or four C is less than zero. Now to solve for C, I'm going to subtract 1,156 from both sides and I get negative 4C is less than negative 1,156. Now to solve for C, I need to divide both sides by negative four. Be careful right here. The rule when you are solving inequalities, anytime you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip this sign. You have to reverse it and go the other way. Um, I have a whole video explaining why that's true. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link down below. But just for this problem, accept that it is true. You have to flip that sign. Just don't forget that because you will get this answer wrong if you don't do that part. So when I divide both sides by um, negative four, I get C on the left and on the right, I get 289. But again, remember, I need to flip that sign. So C is greater than 289. When C is greater than 289, this is going to have no real solutions. Now, what is the question exactly? The equation has no real solution if C is greater than N. Okay, so 289 is N. And then it says, what is the least possible value of N? It's right there, 289. 289, that's my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.